Radio check one, two. Radio check one, two. And not only can I speak radio to radio here in Japan, but I can also reach people back in the Philippines. So let me change my group. Just give it a moment. Hunter one, gadget, how do you read? Uh, your loud is clear, gadget badly. Good morning everyone. Today we're going to talk about the Cygnus NX100 Gen 2. These radios have unlimited range. It could connect Quezon City to Makati, to Davao, to Jensan, even to other countries, Germany, Japan, all across Europe, worldwide. Radio check one, two. Now this is the Gen 2, which is an upgrade on their original version, the Gen 1. Some pretty big changes. I mean, first of all, you can see the size difference, right? Both of these are from Cygnus. This is the Gen 1, this is the Gen 2, which I'm currently borrowing. And in case you don't know already, I'm sure you're wondering, how can you say they have an unlimited range? Most handheld radios like this only have a line of sight, or if you're gonna use a relay or something like that. Well, these are POC radios, which means they work over the cellular network. Now, don't immediately throw that away as, oh, it's just like a cell phone. It's not, it's very different. Now, the first generation only had 3G, although my understanding is that eventually they did bring out a 4G version of this, but I only had the 3G version. It was good, but the Gen 2 solves a lot of issues. First of all, it supports LTE. So the latency, radio check one, two. Radio check one, two. You can see it's much, much faster. Now another huge upgrade is it now charges by USB type C. So that means you can use a regular USB charger, your laptop charger, your cell phone charger, power bank, compared to the original version, which was also USB, but it had a dock. So you had to kind of dock the radio like this. Now you can imagine if you're in a car and you're bouncing around, right? Especially if you're doing rescue works or uh, responding to emergencies and stuff, a dock it's not ideal to be honest compared to just plugging in a type c imagine you have a cigarette lighter adapter for usb you can charge your radios on the go the original radio did have a slightly more substantial belt clip but to be honest i feel like the quality they've used for this new one is not too bad now i know you see people using these all the time for the wln radios and they're nearly always broken well i've got this snagged on things i've pulled it and pulled it and so far it hasn't broken. I'm not saying it's indestructible, but so far I've had pretty good luck with this. I do hope though that Cygnus will be able to sell replacements for this. That's the big thing actually. Maybe we should go to that straight away. I know a lot of people are gonna say, well, why Cygnus? There are other radios. Uh, let me show you, for example, this one, right? This one uses the Zello network. So it also works over cell phones and there are various other POC networks read the reviews on sites like Lazada and Shopee for other brands, especially the generics. They say it worked for a month, now it doesn't work anymore, the seller doesn't respond. Or they say, uh, I only had a one year service life on my account and now I can't use the radios anymore. I have to buy my own license and I have to work out all this stuff. Whereas with Cygnus, when something goes wrong, you can just go to their repair shop or you can go to one of their authorized dealers. Uh, the other big thing, obviously, is that because this is Cygnus and they're here in the Philippines and they're doing things the right way, you can see it has the NTC logo there because these are type approved. They have gone through the process with NTC. Now, I know a lot of people don't care about that. They just go online and buy whatever is available. But of course, another thing to consider is the fact that you do not need a license to operate this radio because it's not UHF or VHF. It's using the cellular networks. Now I know what you're thinking, well if that's the case, why don't I just install Zello on my cell phone? You could do that. In fact, there's even, wait, I've got something. There are Bluetooth speaker microphones like this, which you can clip on here and you can say, hello, radio check, one, two, one, two. Works over Bluetooth. It's pretty good, but the overhead of Zello, it's not ideal. And then you're relying on your phone if the battery runs out. If you have bad connection, if your phone's doing stuff in the background, and I know what you're thinking, well, isn't it the same for the NX100? What if you have a bad signal? I find that there's so little overhead because of the POC system they're using, it gets through. Like for example, we went to Disney. Yes, I know. When I grew up, the only people that went to Disney were those who were like super, super, super rich. So the fact that we were able to 
you know, save up and go on a trip to Disney for me is like mind blowing. That's not something that I thought growing up that I would ever be able to do. Anyway, put that story aside. <coughs> Cygnus NX100 was able to work perfectly. When we're trying to send messages on Viber, delay, 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 cannot connect, cannot connect, cannot connect, try and call, no luck. Eventually the messages would go through, but the tiny little data from this radio, it was going through straight away. That was in Japan. So really it's, it's impressive. And I know you might be thinking, oh, you're just saying that because it's Cygnus and you're a fan. Yeah, I'm a fan of Cygnus, but it's true. You can try it for yourself. We use these in Tokyo, all over Tokyo. Really very useful. Now, don't get me wrong, we're not like blaring out, oh, where are you, where are you so loud, right? You can even get a headset for this. I've got one over there. So it doesn't have to be super loud for everyone around you to hear. But the amount of data these use is very, very minimal. In fact, I could log into my smart application now and show you. So for each of these radios, I inserted a smart SIM card and I subscribed to Magic Data 199, which is six gigs of data that do not expire. That's the important part. And as you can hopefully see, I still have 5.96 gigabytes available. And I've been using these radios for a long time. They use practically no data. So I guess that's why even in really congested areas or really poor connection, it can still manage to get through. Now, there was maybe one time in a mall in Japan where we had like a three second delay. And it only did that for like maybe 10 minutes and then it went back to normal again. That was the only time we had any kind of delay when we were deep inside that mall. But the rest of the time, it's so snappy. In fact, let me cut in some footage now where I'm near a train station in Japan and Bong Nabria is in Quezon City. So that's Japan to Quezon City. You'll notice from the signs behind me, I'm now in Japan, Tokyo specifically. Radio check one, two. Radio check one, two. And not only can I speak radio to radio here in Japan, but I can also reach people back in the Philippines so let me change my group. Just give it a moment. Hunter one, gadget, how do you read? Uh, you're loud and clear, gadget I So you're using the same sim. You just applied to roaming, is that right? That's right. So it's the original smart sim card with magic data. I just paid for the roaming add-on for prepaid. I think it was 250 pesos for three days. Honestly, it might work out cheaper if I was just to put a Japanese SIM card inside here, but for 250 pesos, I thought that's the easier option. That's right. Okay, I'm gonna end the video now. Thank you for your assistance. Chiclas is the best. So I mentioned earlier about headsets, earpieces. The only caveat is that this is type C. It doesn't use the common Kenwood adapter. So type C goes into the side of the radio. I have my earpiece, I have my push to talk, radio check one, two. And you see it comes through just fine. Now, honestly, I don't like this style of earbud. I prefer the transparent tubular type that goes in your ear. I haven't managed to find one of those yet with type C. Now, this does not come with the radio. You have to buy this separately. Although my understanding is that Cygnus do sell this. I didn't buy it from them. I got this from somewhere else. On the first generation of the radio, they had the standard Kenwood. So you can actually plug in your standard accessories like this radio check one two radio this isn't turned on haven't used this for a while because well this one's a lot better to be honest so far i've only shown you radio to radio but if you wanted you could have 10 radios in a group you could have 20 radios in a group you can even create different groups with different people and then move between them on the radio if you were in a group of 10 people and you only wanted to speak to one person, you can go through their member selection, select that radio and then talk directly to that person. Using the dispatcher software, you can also set up like a commander of the group so that if he starts talking, even if other people are talking, his voice will come over and cut them out so he can break in. So there's really a lot of functionality with these radios. They do not have Wi-Fi. If you're wondering if they have Wi-Fi, no. The menu system is super easy to use. This is some kind of like Linux system. It's not Android. That's, I should have mentioned that earlier because another problem with these uh, generic POC radios, whether they're, especially if they're Zello really, typically they're using Android, an older version like four point something. 
a lot of the time it goes to sleep no matter how much you mess with the settings either the OS goes to sleep or Zello goes to sleep and the thing is you won't know you could have the radio on the side for let's say six hours someone's calling 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 there's a fire you know Zello's often used for fires for example um, fire rescuers they use Zello a lot your radio will not it will not tell you that someone's calling because it goes to sleep that's one of the big problem with these the other issue is the battery life they drain down and like this I'm not joking the battery life on this is so long that it's hard to measure you do not have to charge this every day I've gone a week even more without charging this now of course it depends how much you use it if people are talking non-stop and the speaker is going for hours and obviously you're going to drain it down faster but for occasional back and forth communication honestly the battery life on these is amazing and it's quite a big battery let me show you look at that it's a chunky boy right <laughs> how many milliamp hours is this 4000 4000 milliamp hour battery so it's no joke and of course, like I said, because it's Linux, it's more lightweight compared to running a whole Android OS. Because Android has a lot of stuff going on in the background. That's why I don't like using my cell phone. If you're just at home and you want to mess around with Zello, yeah, you could use a Bluetooth thing like this or even just your cell phone. You don't have to buy something like this. This is just more convenient because it's almost like you have a dedicated radio. But if you're on the road and you want something that just works, you don't have to worry about the battery, you don't have to worry about your phone going to sleep or closing the application to save CPU or RAM or whatever. Honestly, it's a lot easier to have this. Plus, like I said, the phone has a lot of overhead. There's a lot of stuff going on in the background using the data. This one, I had no problem, even in super congested areas like Tokyo, Disneyland. Now jumping back to the dispatcher software that I mentioned earlier, you can do GPS tracking of these. So if you want to see them on a map where everyone is, that's another option. Now I'm sure there's going to be a question. What happens if the cell phone towers go down? Let's say there's an earthquake and somehow the power goes out, the batteries for the cell phone towers run out, everything's offline. Well, you will not be able to use these radios. They only work if the cell phone network is up. So that is the downside compared to a more common UHF, VHF radio, which can work completely independently. These do rely on the internet, they rely on the cell phone towers, so they will only work under those conditions. I probably should have shown you this earlier, but on the side you have your power button, your push to talk, and then you have your yes and no buttons for the menu. On the front you have your menu and then you can go through with these and press yes or no using the one on the side. Now honestly what I would have preferred is that you just use the menu button and then press left or right to go through the menus to say yes or no and then make these buttons on the side a volume controller. Instead the way they've done it is when you're not in the menu system this becomes your volume control. You do get used to it but it's not very user intuitive because on most cell phones you have the volume buttons on the side so why not do the same thing on the radio. The first generation had a nice knob here which I actually I prefer because if you want to quickly turn the volume up or down it's quite convenient. Let's say you're talking to someone and then there's a lot of radio activity which you don't need to listen to. You could just quickly turn down the volume. On this radio you're going to be like, oh wait, <laughs> right, it's, it's a little bit annoying. Um, maybe if they could have some kind of quick mute button that might be useful, although you might forget to unmute it, so uh, pros and cons. Anyway, that was just a quick video about the NX100 Gen 2. Like I said, I'm borrowing these from Cygnus, but I'm actually thinking to buy quite a few of these and then distribute them with different people because they're just really, really useful to have and uh, they just work very well. Yes, you could use your cell phone, you don't have to spend any money, you can use a cell phone that you already have for free, but this has a lot of benefits over the cell phone, and in fact, it's very loud. If you put this on the top volume, it's super loud. That was one of my biggest complaints with the first generation, that when you're outside, let's say you're in the middle of EDSA, it's so noisy, the traffic noise is just immense, people don't even realize. Sometimes they say like, why are the enforcers always shouting? they don't realize that the noise of the traffic, it just blows your ears out. So you don't even realize you're raising your voice so loud because it just like, let's say you go to a club, right? You have the boom, 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 boom. When you come outside, you notice a lot of people are shouting. 
they don't even realize it. It's the noise. Anyway, uh, this radio, sometimes you could struggle to hear over the noise of that. But this new radio, oh my goodness, it is so loud. So yeah, that's the NX100 Gen 2 from Cygnus. If you have any questions, put it in the comments section. I'm sure there's a lot of questions because this is really only an overview video. I didn't get super in depth about all the details. Thanks for watching.